Hi, so uh, this is a circuit I've designed using Tinkercad. It's my first time using Tinkercad um, and I find it pretty easy to use to be honest. You just drag the components across from this menu here and then you can just wire them between. It's really intuitive, simple to use and I recommend anyone just having a go to be honest to learn how to use it. Uh, the circuit that I'm using it for is a edge triggered mono stable so it's basically a timing circuit um, that when you press the button the output goes high for a predefined set of time um, and then when then it goes low but the difference between an edge triggered and a standard mono stable is if you continue to press the button that uh, triggers the timing cycle it will still complete the timing cycle whereas a normal mono stable if you uh, keep the input to the trigger pin which is on pin 2 low it will continue to keep the output high so the edge triggered is a slight modification on that so uh, using this capacitor here the, um, the and this resistor here means that the RF even after the timing cycle is complete, if you have the button pressed, it will it, the the pin two will go high again and complete the cycle, even if you're pressing the button. Uh, other than that, it's a standard timing cy circuit with this potentiometer and capacitor actually determining the period that the output stays high. So you change this wiper here, to, uh, more resistance means the longer the timing cycle and less resistance means um, the shorter the timing cycle. Um, I'll do a simulation, so if I do start simulation and then I'm going to set this potentiometer somewhere into the middle then if I press the button you'll see the LED here go high and these two motors will turn. The motors are driven through these um, MOSFETs because um, the 555, although it can actually provide quite a lot of current, wouldn't provide enough current for these motors. In my actual circuit, I'll be using solenoids. Um, the If you look, the ground is connected through a high value resistor here uh, to the, um, the gate pin, and that makes it sure it sends it properly low when the, when the pin, go, pin goes low. Um, so if I just simulate it, so if I press the button once, you'll see this LED's gone high, the motors are turning and it stops. So if I then change the value of the potentiometer and do it again, that will then go high for a longer period. So if you look, that's going high for a much longer period and then stop. I'm going to put it back to a short period, so I'll do take it around to here, press the button, so it's short period on. Now if I hold the button it still completes the timing cycle and that's the difference between an edge triggered monostable and a standard monostable. Um, another advantage of using Tinkercad I found out is that it automatically generates your schematic view which is fantastic and also a bill of materials, a bomb. So um, when you're doing projects, you once you've designed it, you can present it, or you've got a bill of materials where you know that you can share with other people. So it's a great tool for working with other people or just presenting your project. I hope you found this informative. Like I say, it's part of a larger project, and um, I recommend giving Tinkercad a go. Thanks for watching.